Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Carolyn. If you're new here, I had gastric bypass surgery now over four years ago, and I am down about 220 pounds. And welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a hot minute. Um, life has been crazy and stressful, and there's just a lot going on. And I've just found it really difficult to pick up my phone and film. So much so that I did a thing last night. <laughs> I purchased a camera. Um, I got the Sony A6100. Um, it kind of looks like the Canon G7X. It's got that like flippy screen um, and it should arrive tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. I've just found it very hard to film content for Instagram and YouTube all on my phone. Like it makes it really difficult and I end up having to store a lot of footage on my phone. Um, so yeah, I bought the camera and an SD card and an SD like USB-C converter thing to be able to plug into my laptop and my phone hopefully. Um, and I'm just hoping it makes creating content a little easier, especially with YouTube. I've been really feeling like I just want to make long form content and having a vlogging camera would just be so much easier. So yeah, that arrives tomorrow. Until then, we'll film on my phone. It's Monday, March 25th. Yeah, work has just been so, so crazy. It's been a lot. So I feel very out of sorts but yeah I will talk to you guys in the next clip and hopefully it'll be tomorrow when I have my new camera <gasps> hi okay so you know how in the last clip I said that I am getting something really exciting um I actually don't know if I mentioned it I think I did I mentioned that I was getting it uh, like a digital camera, like a camera to vlog on. It arrived. Um, I'm trying to like hide my address and stuff. Let me just get out of the box. Put that over there. Oh my God. It's here. It's here. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I also got, um, I got an SD card, 128 gigabytes, and an SD card reader for my laptop. So that's exciting. This is so exciting. I haven't ever owned. I actually, that's a lie. I used, to, when I was in high school, I had a Lumix camera. It was more of like a DSLR. Perfect. And then here is the actual camera. It's kind of heavy. Wow. It is very heavy, actually. Look at her. So fun. She's actually like really fucking huge. <laughs> I guess it's like just the... No, she's a pretty big camera. I think she's... Maybe she's bigger than the Canon G7X. I don't know. I should probably put the battery in it. <clears throat> that would be a good idea. <laughs> well, I'm, I know nothing about cameras, so this should be very interesting. Maybe she needs to charge. Okay, we'll come back and I'll film on, on the camera. <laughs> I am filming on it. This is like so exciting. Um, hopefully it's good quality. I don't know. Um, it's about four o'clock. It's Tuesday, March 26th. And, um, yeah, I need to go get ready for CrossFit. Um, I have a little bit more work left to do, but I have to leave here by like 4.50 ish for the 5.30 class. So yeah, let's go get changed. We're in the closet. I'm gonna have to get used to like not looking at the viewfinder, but yeah, I just don't think that's gonna happen very quickly. Oh my god, this is so exciting! I freaking love this. All right, this is the fit for CrossFit. Um, 
actually. Put you guys down a little lower. This is the fit, super basic. I'm just gonna fix my hair. Anyway, super exciting that I have this new camera. I'm really, really excited about it. It like hurts like right back here. My hair has been up a lot too the last couple days, so I just know. Anyway, <laughs> new camera. Um, hopefully it makes vlogging so much easier. I'm trying to like look in the actual camera and not the viewfinder. So anyway, what has been new with me? Not much, honestly. Um, since the last vlog, I did try and film a little bit. I have filmed things and I've like edited stuff, but I've just never uploaded it because, I don't know, it just didn't seem good enough. I did go, let me take you back to my office. Mr. Marlowe wants to say hello. Hello. Bud, what are you doing? So, oh my gosh, it's March. I don't even remember the last time I uploaded my video but I know it was sometime in the last like two or three months. I feel like I'm all over the place. I did go have a second plastic surgery consult at, was it the beginning of March, I think? I did that, which was good. Yeah, I did do a second plastic surgery consult. I don't know if I shared this, but I did go to a plastic surgeon back in September of 2022, which was good. We basically established that I need the fleur de lis tummy tuck, which is the line that goes horizontal and then the line that goes, like the scar that goes up to like my sternum. We're getting RSVPs in for the wedding, which is so crazy. <laughs> so, so crazy. Yeah. We have invited like 98, basically 100 people. And so far, 31 people have RSVP'd. It's an odd number because like my family that RSVP'd is five people. So, um, okay, plastic surgery chit chat um so i went a second time because i'm thinking about having surgery this summer plastic surgery this summer i don't know it's a money it comes down to a money situation like i don't want to go into debt to have surgery i have i want to do the fleur de lis tummy tuck and the and a breast lift with um, augmentation so I would get um, breast implants total it came out to like $23,000 that's a lot of money I have about half of it right now so I'm thinking I might I really want to get the tummy tuck done sooner rather than later so my thought is that I will try to get the tummy tuck scheduled and done this summer after our wedding, which is June 22nd, and then have the breast lift and augmentation sometime next year, probably in like the March time frame. Um, because our we're gonna be doing a lot of traveling in the fall because of football season. We're gonna hopefully follow the Ravens around to all of their away games. It's something my fiance has always wanted to do and this is really like the best time in our lives to do it. We don't have kids yet and we can financially afford it and do all of that. Um, it's really just a matter of figuring out like what we're gonna do with our dogs. <laughs> so that's kind of that. Yeah, that's that's just a, a, the whole plastic surgery thing is just something I've been thinking about. Um, I felt a lot of body dysmorphia lately in the last few weeks. Like I have had to switch from Manjaro to Ozempic, 
and I was on the 12.5 milligram of Manjaro for a long time. And then the highest dose of the Ozempic is two milligrams. And I had to switch because of insurance. Like I like at first my insurance was only going to cover Ozempic and then like the formulary was updated and for some reason I'm now able to get Manjaro. So I've been on Ozempic two milligram for the last two months and I've asked to go back to Manjaro. And my provider was like, we can't put you back on the 12.5 immediately because the conversion for the two milligram Ozempic to Manjaro is the 7.5, which I didn't realize that, which is why I'm probably not feeling the effects. Like the food noise has kind of come back. I have stayed right around like 180, 182. My lowest I've seen has been 174, but I have the last like six months or so maintained around the 180 to 185 mark. I want to get back down to that like 175 mark. I felt really, really good there, which sounds weird. It's only a five or 10 pound difference, but I just feel so gross in my body right now. And I don't really understand why. I don't know. I just, I don't feel like I'm, my fiance seems to think that it's also has to do with CrossFit. Um, and just my body changing with that. And that's probably it. I just feel so, I don't know. I look at myself in the mirror and I feel like I'm 300 pounds again. And that has been like consistent. It really doesn't matter where I am in my cycle over the last month or so. It's just every day I wake up and I don't wanna look at myself in the mirror. And that has been a huge, huge struggle. And I think part of it is the loose skin. Like I just have so much of it in my stomach that it just like wearing clothes is not fun. And like I have a vision for how I want my clothes to look on my body. And then I put those clothes on and it doesn't look at all the way I want it to. And it's just the most frustrating thing ever. I don't know, I feel in like a slump. I'm also really, I think I'm also really stressed out. Not only do we have the wedding coming up in less than 90 days, but my job is really stressful right now. I've had to go on, oh, my fiance is calling me. Hello? Hello. Hi. How was the workout? We're making dinner. My head is getting cut off if I stand up totally straight, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm making. It's really basic. Um, that's fine. I'm basically making these like toasty open face sandwiches. I have this Dave's Killer Bread, the thin slice, and I'm just gonna take two slices um, and I'm gonna put some Dijon mustard and mayo on both sides. I just got home from CrossFit. It was a really good workout. We were doing um, like a snatch complex and then we had to do, the conditioning part was dumbbell snatches and burpee jump over box things. You basically did a burpee you jumped over a box and you did another burpee. And yeah, it was good, it was hard, but feels good to be done. I've been doing CrossFit for two months now um, and I've really enjoyed it. If you've been here a while, you know that I had been doing Pure Bar for like a year and a half, which I also love. I recommend Pure Bar to anyone, especially if they're first starting out into working out. It's a really nice, fun, beginner, friendly group workout. I loved going to, love going to group workouts. That's what I really enjoy about going to CrossFit is the ability to like be around other people and then also have an instructor. So uh, I've done that. I'm gonna add some, this is just the boar's head maple honey turkey. 
Um, so I'm just gonna put two slices on each piece of bread. And then I'm just gonna take two slices of this Colby Jack cheese. I'm preheating the oven to, I think 425, and I'll probably leave it in for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm not really sure. I'll start with 10 and check. We also have this, I think this is leftover salad. Yeah. It's just like a tossed salad. So I'll have some of this. I just have a little bit of this like Monterey Jack cheese that I'm just gonna shred on top. So I'm probably just gonna eat this first until the little open face sandwiches are done and have that afterwards. But yeah, just thought I would show you what my quick dinner is for tonight. And I will probably chat with you later. I'm gonna sit and chat with my fiance. washer going um i'm gonna take my multivitamin this is i'm actually opening a new bottle um this is from berry milk i actually work with them so i will leave a link and my code uh, i have a code carolyn20 it gets you 20 percent off your order which is really nice because I feel like a lot of affiliate programs, they do like 10 to 15% off, but 20% off is a really good deal. And I love berry melts. I've been using them personally for two years, I think. And I just started working with them last month. So I think, yeah. Um, this is their multivitamin with iron. It was actually just, um, they, it now follows ASMBS guidelines, which is great. It's specifically designed for bariatric patients. They're fast melting tablets. So they just look like this. And the dose is two. Um, so I take two of these at night and they just melt. I let it melt a little bit, a little bit, and then I end up just chewing them. Um, I also take their calcium. Um, the multivitamin is a natural fruit flavor. It's okay. It's not my. It just kind of tastes really fruity. The calcium is a natural berry flavor, which I really love. Um, these are a bit bigger of a tablet. They look like this. Um, and the dose is two tablets, and I take that, I take two tablets twice a day per my surgeon. So that's a vitamin routine. I also do B12, sublingual B12, 5,000 micrograms. Um, I take this once a week. Um, my surgeon says to, his guideline was always 500 micrograms a day. Um, so I just take this once a week, every Monday morning. And that is my vitamin routine. I also have these Love Wellness Bye Bye Bloat. I'm actually gonna take, I just have been feeling so freaking bloated lately. I don't know. It's just been kind of ridiculous these are fine the taste is kind of weird they're giant pills or capsules but that's okay that's why I also love these berry melts vitamins because they're like fast melting tablets and you don't have to swallow anything um, 
but I'm gonna I can only do one at a time. I just got out of the shower. It's almost 8.30. Um, yeah, just getting ready for bed. My fiance is downstairs in the basement playing video games, I think. And the dogs are down there with him, which is nice because then they like leave me alone, <laughs> which is very rare. In the shower, I used CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. Love this stuff so, so much. Um, I'm actually gonna probably throw some music on over this. I'm gonna brush my teeth and do my skincare routine and we'll chat to you in a sec. It is Wednesday, March 27th. It's 6.30 in the morning. I just got up. Well, I've been up for probably since like 5.30. But I've just been laying in bed. Looking at my phone. Cuddling with my dogs who are still sleeping. Um, and yeah. Gonna just get ready, ready for the day. I had my first wedding nightmare <laughs> last night. I usually don't remember my dreams, but I remember this one. It was a very long, it felt very long. Basically, it was a nightmare because our wedding is scheduled to start at 4.30 in the afternoon and we're not doing a first look but my plan is to have the photographer we have two photographers they're like a team come and do come early instead of doing first look photos they're gonna do photos like of us individually and with our individual bridal parties so like my fiance and his groomsmen um me and my bridesmaids like me and my family solo portraits like that kind of thing um well in my nightmare <laughs> the whole timeline got messed up and i couldn't find the photographer i couldn't find like, I didn't know what was going on. I think the next thing I know, it's like six o'clock and for some reason it's dark out, which is not gonna happen at our wedding because our wedding is in June. It's the second day of summer. It's one of the longest days of the year and the sun doesn't set until like 8.30 or something. But for some reason it was totally dark. We hadn't had the ceremony, no pictures had been taken. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. It's a mess. It felt like a nightmare. It felt like, I hope this doesn't happen at our actual wedding. That would make me really, really, really sad. I don't cleanse my face in the morning because I have dry skin and I double cleanse at night. So I just rinse off my face with water. And I try to leave my face a little damp and then I go in with the CeraVe vitamin C serum. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this one. I like it. This is the second time I bought this kind, but I think I wanna try something else. I don't know what this is. 
Yeah, two bumps. See that? I have no idea what they are. They've been there for a while though. It doesn't hurt. Mm, maybe I'm dying. Um, and then same moisturizer as last night. The Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I also don't know if I'm going to repurchase this. Oh, I love this moisturizer. It's so good, but I don't know if I should try something different. But it might be good to stick with this one for some more time. I don't know. I just sort of talking out loud. I'm really tired. I'm in the ovulation part of my cycle and I don't know, I feel like I'm supposed to have more energy than I do, but I don't know. Lately I've just kind of continuing on my talk about the poor body image. I've just been struggling the last month or so with feeling really tired and really exhausted and I think it's just because of there's just so much going on in our lives um, like a lot and work has just honestly been so crazy my coworker had a brain aneurysm back at the end of January and she's been out obviously, but I took over for her on this audit that we do. It's like a performance audit and it's honestly been a nightmare. Like I feel like I don't know what I'm doing at all. The test work is really annoying and it's very time consuming and everybody is always like, oh, this audit is so easy, it's so chill. And I'm like, I would rather do any other audit than this. It just, I think it's mainly just the feeling of not knowing what's going on. Like I sort of came on right in the middle of things and so I missed all of the process walkthroughs. I missed, like I don't have a good relationship with the client. Like I because our associate is dealing with them so much. Um, so I just feel like a fish out of water and I hate that feeling so, so much. It's really just the worst. I'm gonna go get dressed and then we'll finish the rest of whatever this is. We're back and we're dressed. I feel like I look like a schoolgirl. <laughs> this with the collared shirt and everything, I don't know. Looks a little weird, but whatever. I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on. I like the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. If you've been following me for like a year here, you know that I use um, Saint makeup and I really enjoy it. There are times where I like don't use it and I use other stuff, but for the most part, I, I like using it. It's, it's this, it's like compact cream makeup um so it's fine i really i don't sell it myself like it's kind of like a network marketing kind of deal i don't sell it myself i have a friend who does it and figured i would support her i don't know I'm putting my darker shade around my darker areas. I do feel like you have to really get used to using it and there is a specific way. I don't like the dot. I don't like to put everything on in one layer, which is what is marketed as like the way to do it and I don't like that. I just doesn't really work for me. And I usually always get ready in semi darkness, but I don't have our main big lights on just so I don't bother the dogs. I don't know. I've been really into brown mascara lately. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High. 
Um, I just feel like the brown is so much less intense on a day-to-day -day wear than black. And I've really been enjoying it. That's the face done. I'm gonna spritz a little Jo Malone Honeysuckle and Divana. I love the Jo Malone perfumes. Um, my dad actually got me the holiday set for Christmas this year. I don't like every scent, but I like most of them. Not really sure what I'm doing with my hair today. After the wedding, I'm gonna chop my hair off. Like, I think I'm gonna go the short where my bangs are, like my side fringe. Like, I'm gonna go, we're gonna give her a real good chopperoo. I like to do that every few years, just get a good chop in. And everybody around me wants to see me with short hair. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, my hair has a lot of volume. I blow dried it last night. So, seven o'clock. Gonna take the dogs out and get to work. Good morning. Are you ready to go outside? We go outside? Huh? We go outside, Milo? Oh, good morning. Good morning. You ready to go outside, Aspen? Good morning. Good morning. Outside time. Okay. I'm really loving this camera. I'm so happy I got it. Um, I am also apologizing for looking at the viewfinder so much. It's like above the thing. I just, I can't help it. My hair looks really good today. I blow dried it last night. Blow drying my hair helps so, so much. I also use the Olaplex blow dry mist, which is just the most incredible product. It's seriously so, so good. Um, yesterday, in yesterday's clip, I was talking about body image and just not really feeling good in my body for the last month or so which sucks like I, it's not a fun feeling and I think it's our youngest dog hasn't really been able to jump up on furniture or like up on my sofa thing that I have here so she like growls to get up um but yeah I, I find that this feeling is very normal with this journey of weight loss and having gastric bypass surgery and you know for myself I've lost so much weight I've lost over 200 pounds it's a lot and you get really used to seeing the scale the number on the scale go down and then you get to a point where you're maintaining and you have to look for other forms of validation that you are continuing to do the right thing even though the scale isn't moving. And like all of my clothes still fit, I still look good. I just, for some reason, there's something in my brain that's like shifting how I view myself in the mirror and in photos. Um, and it's just been a big struggle. I attribute a lot of it to the stress right now that I'm under, especially with my job. I am on this performance audit that I've never done it before. It's not my normal thing. And I was pulled onto it because my coworker had an aneurysm at the end of January and she's on medical leave. We're not sure when she'll be back or anything like that. Um, it's very sad, she's doing so, so much better, but um, I was just kind of thrown into her place in the middle of this audit and I've been stumbling my way through ever since, which has been really hard because I don't like that feeling and I'm also, our normal audit is starting back up again. 
Um, so having to navigate both, it's just, it's been a lot. And then planning a wedding, um, granted hasn't been as stressful yet. It's been more fun and exciting than anything. Like we just did our food tasting last weekend, which let me go into talking about that because it was a lot of fun. Um, we are getting catering from a local restaurant near my dad's. It's um, a very good restaurant. They do really good catering. And I will pull up the menu of everything that we tasted and what we are going with. So we tasted eight, I think it was eight, seven or eight different appetizers. We're going to do um, during cocktail hour, we're going to have past hors d'oeuvres. So we tried shrimp cocktail, bacon wrapped water chestnuts, which hear me out, I will explain. Baked brie in a phyllo cup with one had, um, there was variety with fig jam and then one with blackberry jam. I will explain which ones we chose and why after it. Um, and then we tried mushroom crostini, shrimp and grit cakes and bacon wrapped scallops. So here are the four that we're going with. We chose the shrimp cocktail. They do a house made cocktail sauce that was so, so delicious. Um, we're going with the bacon wrapped water chestnuts, which sounds crazy. I was very skeptical. I think we were all very skeptical aside from my stepmom who'd had them before. And she was like, no, they are so, so good. And compared to the bacon wrapped scallops that we tried, everybody agreed that the water chestnuts were 10 times better. You don't even taste the water chestnut, you're tasting the bacon and then this like barbecue sauce that's um, drizzled on top. And that it's just that crunch factor that's so good. And it felt really um, light compared to the bacon wrapped scallops. And the bacon wrapped scallops just didn't have, it was, I don't know, the texture of a scallop, it's very different. So anyway, we decided to go with the bacon wrapped water chestnuts. They're so good. And then the bake, the baked brie in the phyllo cup, um, like phyllo dough, um, they were very good. The, the brie that they used was delicious. Um, and we preferred the fig jam over the blackberry. I think they're just going to change it so that it's like a puff pastry instead of phyllo dough, just to make it a little heartier because they, yeah, it just, that was it. And then we're gonna go with the mushroom crostinis. They were very good. It's basically like toasted piece of baguette with this really good um, uh, mushroom mixture, cooked mixture on top. It's very good. And then for the dinner portion, we're gonna do everything. It's a buffet, but we are going to do a plated salad, like a plated tossed salad with a balsamic vinaigrette. And then we're gonna have dinner rolls on the table in, in bread baskets. I figured that would be much easier to have that on the table rather than people getting it at the buffet. Um, and then for the dinner portion, here are the things that we tried. Um, we tried their crab cakes, which they're pretty famous for. Um, we tried two different kinds of chicken. There was a lemon and caper chicken and a bruschetta chicken, which lemon and caper chicken is very much like a lemon piccata. It's just literally a lemon butter sauce with capers, very good. And then the bruschetta chicken was, it had like a tomato mixture, like a bruschetta on top of the chicken with a balsamic glaze on top, also very good. Um, and then we tried mac and cheese, roasted red potatoes and roasted root vegetables. Um, Something we didn't try was prime rib. We are definitely going to have prime rib at the wedding. It's just this restaurant doesn't serve prime rib every day and they weren't gonna cook up like a whole prime rib just for us to try. But we have had it before at other events that they've catered and it's very good. So I'm not really worried there. Um, we are definitely having crab cakes. And then we chose to do a third protein option, which is the lemon caper chicken, which I'm really happy with because that one was so good and it really screamed summer to me and it was very refreshing and I loved it. 
Um, and I'm not the biggest, I love seafood, but I'm not the biggest crab cake person. And while their crab cakes are very good, I am just not the biggest crab cake person. And then prime rib isn't my favorite. That's mainly to make my fiance happy. He loves prime rib and that's, that's been his one request. Actually prime rib and the mac and cheese were the two things that he absolutely wanted. So in terms of starches, we're actually just going to go with the mac and cheese. We all sort of decided that having both mac and cheese and roasted potatoes was a little much, especially since we're having three different proteins. And the mac and cheese was incredible. And their roasted red potatoes were very good too, but I think we made the right decision with just going with one starch. And then we are going to do the roasted root vegetables, which they had like Brussels sprouts, um, zucchini, squash, carrots, onions. It was very good, very seasoned very well. And that's the menu. So it was me, my fiance, my dad, my stepmom, and my fiance's parents who were at the tasting. And it was so nice to just get everybody together. And we talked about all the different other kinds of wedding things, which was really helpful for me um, because I had been feeling a little bit like nervous, I don't know, and stressed out and like, I don't know, but I feel much better about it. The wedding stuff is going really well. The reason my mom wasn't there is because my mom lives in Sweden. I am half Swedish. I grew up there for half my life. Um, so she was actually here in the middle of March. She came for like a week um, and she came to my uh, dress fitting to get altered. And that was the first time she got to see my dress in person. She was on FaceTime when we went uh, last year in August to get it. So that was really special and fun. And yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I'm gonna get back to work, but I just wanted to sort of take a little break and chit chat with you. I don't know how, I think I've got a good amount of clips. I think I have like an hour of footage to go through. So I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here and probably start up another one or do something like Easter weekend is coming up and I figured I would vlog that. And I have some clothing things that are coming in the mail this weekend. So maybe I'll be able to do that and share that. So yeah, hope you have a wonderful week, day, month, whatever you, where, whenever you see this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram page. I post a lot on there. I also have a like to know it for all of my um, outfit stuff. If you see that on Instagram. And I'm going to try and post some more things on here as well. And I have an Amazon storefront. Um, and also make sure to check out the vitamins I talked about from Berry Melts. They're awesome. I will leave the link and my discount code in the description box. I love them. If you're a bariatric patient, I highly, highly recommend. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!